This is Charlie Talbot with Talbot Consulting. Greg Kitson with Minds Eye Graphics. Pierre with Blue Moon. This is Marsha Derryberry with Impressions Magazine. And you're listening to the Two Regular Guys. Two Regular Guys. Two Regular Guys podcast. 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 Hosted by Terry Combs and Aaron Montgomery. It's the first and most listened to favorite weekly internet radio show in the industry. Take a listen. All right. Well, welcome to the show. It's Friday, October 11th, 2019. I'm Terry Combs, and you can find me at terrycombs.com. And I'm Aaron Montgomery, and you can find me over at aaronmontgomery.info. Uh, today, we're going to wrap up the ISS Fort Worth show that uh, we were just back from. Terry's actually at another show, as you can tell from the hotel room in the background <laughs> there. But uh, we're going to kind of wrap that up, put a nice little bow on it, so to speak, and talk about the decorators community and get your input, insights. Just uh, really want to have a great, fun, interactive show here today, Terry. And uh, we've got uh, got some regulators already checking in. In fact, the Super. inventor of regulators, Christine Shreve, <laughs> joining us. So uh, good morning, Christine and, and Michelle. Good morning. And uh, our our she was a guest on the show, Terry. You were over in your booth when uh, when we were there, but I got to talk to uh, Cindy. Good morning, Cindy, and uh, thanks for, for tuning in. But uh, yeah, Terry, so uh, how's how's the weather out there in Denver? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I left uh, Phoenix yesterday, and it was in the 90s. Uh, when I landed, it was 20 and with the snow. <laughs> I was wow. two hours late getting here because uh, the airport here in Denver was closed for couple of hours uh, due to ice so oh wow uh, so i sat in phoenix for a couple hours and one of our guys uh, for equipment zone uh, jeff morgenthaler was already here so he got the he got the opportunity to basically set up the booth by himself <laughs> oh good for him it builds character jeff <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then this morning Aaron, because it said it's going to warm up today so i thought well, i'll just check the weather here and uh, it says today low of 33 high of 55 and and as i'm reading low of 33 i look and it's 21 so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know Somebody. where it's going, but it's supposed to be 70 tomorrow here. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Uh, somebody missed it there. Just, just a bit, apparently. Here. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's not like being a weather person in Phoenix, you know? Yeah. It's uh, going to be uh, hot again today. Uh, guess to what? You. <laughs> <laughs> you would be perfect at that job. I know. Sure, so. <laughs> All right. Um, Marshall Atkinson checking in. Yo, yo, yo. Good morning. Good morning, Marshall. Thank you for joining us this morning and uh, good stuff. Uh, Terry, a couple quick. Um, oh, here we go. Well, let's get the weather reports in here. It's 43 in Odessa, Texas. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we finally got some cool weather here in St. Louis, too, which uh Everybody was like complaining about how hot it was. And now all of a sudden everybody's like, wait, wait a second. What happened to that nice part in the middle? You know, the 70s, right. the <laughs> 60s and 70s were, were all the, already into the 40s. So, um, yeah, Todd's there in snowy Denver with you. So, Todd, uh, make sure that you go get a, a selfie with Terry, please. OK, Terry, what booth number are you in? Any idea? Uh, 741, I think. Ish. Okay. 700 dial. You just listen for Terry's laugh. It's yeah. it's uh, well known. <laughs> Good I might stuff, be telling man. some story as you walk up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it may be a story that you've heard before. I don't know. Could be. Could be. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, let's hit a couple of news items here, Terry, real quick. Um, I noticed that uh, one of our, our past guests, uh, Joyce Jagger, the embroidery coach, releases embroidery business mastery book. So Joyce Jagger, also known as the embroidery coach, released an ebook titled Embroidery Business Mastery. Uh, Joyce was the guest on a show not too long ago. So go check out a free copy. We'll, we'll get a link in there. And um, the uh, intrepid and uh, wonderful Eric Campbell is handling the uh, the comments here this morning. So uh, he will probably get a link in there for us uh, about that. But uh, yeah, check that out. It's a free ebook, so definitely worth worth a read. And Eric, much like us, uh, we obviously get a producer whose life is like ours. He was uh, he was uh, sending us messages. OK, I'm on my way. I'll be there in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. Definitely. Yeah. Right. Good stuff there. What, what about you, Terry? Uh, is there any news that you've got to share with us? Well, speaking of Phoenix, Arizona and Tempe, Arizona, Inksoft launches its new Sell More Merch podcast. So you can pick up some new sales and marketing ideas and gain a greater insight into the issues that matter in today's print entrepreneurs uh, life by listening to the new podcast presented by Inksoft. Sell More Merch is hosted by Inksoft co-founder and vice president of sales and marketing, J.P. Hunt. He's an industry veteran that that, that we've uh, known for many, many years, and he mm -hmm. keeps his finger on the pulse of social media trends and business developments that affect the decorated apparel industry. Look at us. 
promoting, yeah. it, promoting another uh, another podcast. That, well, that's we're, the kind of guys we are. That's right. That's that is the kind of guys we are. Now, obviously, we would tell you to listen to that after you get done with the two regular guys podcast. Right. But and uh, JP, uh, JP, I uh, hope. Hope you give us a little love too, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right on. Yeah, no. In fact, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Part of our core values, Terry, is, is the abundance mentality. So, um, good exactly. stuff there. And uh, yeah, so Marshall said uh, Eric had the link before Aaron even mentioned it. Give that boy a raise. So, yes, Eric, we will give you a raise. So, double what you're getting now, man. Yep, doubling double. it, man. So you, <laughs> that's that's how important uh, you are to us. So. <laughs> um, two beers at the next show instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> or uh, time travel eric it's science all right science man <laughs> um a couple of quick shout outs from the show here real quick um in fact oops wrong one let's click on that one uh curtis i i got a chance to meet curtis at the show in fort worth so uh thanks for stopping by and saying hello and um as mentioned earlier i got to actually interview cindy there in fort worth so uh, shout out to Cindy King, who was on the show. And then uh, Reed from Australia had somebody come all the way from Australia to uh, to check in. Uh, so Eric sends his best a note there. Uh, who, who'd you run into? Anybody in particular that pops out? It, it, there was a ton of them. So I know I missed a, a bunch of you. So I apologize. Uh, I, I think I talked to Charlie Tobley uh, eight times during the show. So we should mention Charlie. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We should definitely mention Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but, so. uh, but yeah, the, the, the usual suspects uh, at this particular event hung out a little bit with our, our buddy Hawkeye Welsh from uh, from Brother, and uh, yeah, the uh, the the usual crowd. And I'm not <laughs> sure how many folks will be here at the Denver show. It's a little bit smaller show, but uh, interestingly enough, Aaron, uh, as 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 we at Equipment Zone track sales, these two day shows are just as productive as one as the three day shows. So yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll be interesting, an interesting read. I'm glad uh, the snow was yesterday and not today because <laughs> that will impact the show. But, yeah, definitely. You know, definitely. Aaron, you mentioned Reed from Australia. Uh, this past year at Workhorse Products in Phoenix, one of the locations where I teach my screen printing classes, mm -hmm. uh, gentleman is is there. And, uh, and of course, I ask everybody to introduce themselves and where they're from. And he, he said he was from Australia. He had just gotten in the day before. And I'm like, oh, you, so it's coincidence you can come to class because you're here for something else. No, no, I flew in just for the class. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I better be in my A game today because yeah. his uh, his flight alone was much more than what it cost him to come to the class. But Yeah, uh, yeah. He, well, uh, you know, that's just goes to show you how how good and valuable that information is, you know, that, that investment in his business. And, and, you know, Aaron, one of the reasons I brought that up was the, the fact that I said, there's no, there's no education at all in spring printing in Australia. And he, he said, I have tried and looked everywhere. And all I could find was a hobbyist course. And he, he said, we print, we didn't even print on t-shirts. We printed on like bandanas as a hmm. practice prints. So wow. the, the, I think the opportunity for education is uh, certainly worldwide. And, and for sure. I, I know that my books and, and articles and things, I, I, you know, I can track where the books are being sold in, in, uh, England, uh, all, all through the EU, India, mm -hmm. uh, all over the world. So, uh, people out there hungry for education. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. I love it. I mean, Marshall says learning should be an on-purpose decision. So yeah, definitely. I've always wanted to uh, to live in Australia, Terry. So if we need to go down there and set up screen printing classes, uh, I'm in. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Two <laughs> <laughs> uh, month leave of absence. And <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, well, we've got a first time live uh, viewer checking in, Kelly Baker, and uh, I listen to podcast while printing. So cool, Kelly. We were so excited to have you here live and. Looking forward to uh, having you participate in the show. We we love that. So thanks. So, so Kelly, uh, it, this is like driving though. You can't print and watch the show. It's like texting and driving. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. You're gonna ruin a shirt right there. <laughs> uh, Terry will say something funny and and we'll uh, we'll be in trouble. Yeah. So oh That's here right. we go. Brian uh, checking in says I've taught in Australia and they've tried many times to get apparel decoration education going. They need us to visit. Lisa Shaw will be going next month. There we go. So right. and brilliance. Uh, oh, you can't see behind me what the way the things are, but uh, 
I've got my Embrilliance lanyard there. So I uh, had lots of good Embrilliance swag there at the decorators community. So good stuff. Um, It'll be like one of those rock and roll road shows. We'll, we'll all fly to Australia and, uh, <laughs> that's right. and do some seminars. Nice, so. nice. So Kelly says, I know it doesn't work. So <laughs> <laughs> printing and yeah. Okay. All right. Good stuff there. Um, <laughs> What was else? Yeah, I think that's I think that's about it, Terry. We, let's let's dive right in. We, we've got a, a brand new sponsor that's uh, helping us out. So uh, why don't you take us there? <laughs> All right. Hey, Eric. Before we dive in, uh, we want to thank uh, everybody uh, for checking out the Two Regular Guys podcast. Uh, if you are listening to the podcast version, we would appreciate it if you'd share with your friends so they can become regulators too. And plus, uh, give us a review on Apple Podcaster or Apple Podcast Stitcher. Wherever you're listening, uh, throw a review up there. It would really be helpful to us. Yep. And, and if you're joining us uh, live on Facebook, we love the interaction that we're having already. And we want to hear your comments and questions on the discussion. And uh, give us a shout out to let folks know you're tuned in. For sure. Yeah, it's right. uh, good stuff. So uh, now let's hear a word from our new sponsor, Impressions Expo. And uh, let's see if I can get this going here. <laughs> Right. Well, really good stuff there. That's a fun, fun video. Well, uh, basically, let me tell you a little bit about Impressions Expo here real quick. Impressions Expo, formerly ISS, and we were just there in Fort Worth talking about how that was the last ever ISS show, and it was so cool to be a part of that. Uh, it, it's the premier trade show dedicated to the imprinting and decorating apparel industry. Uh, five shows are produced annually in each region of the U.S., including Long Beach, California, Atlantic City, New Jersey, Orlando, Florida, and this year, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and Fort Worth, Texas. So each of the five annual shows also features over 30 seminars and hands-on workshops in categories such as screen printing, embroidery, digitizing, uh, digital decorating, and much more. So again, visit ImpressionsExpo.com for more details. And uh, they've got a promo code just for us. And uh, if you use regular guys, IE, and I'm going to see if I can copy and paste and put this into the uh, put this up there. But uh, regular guys, IE, uh, you will get a free expo pass by, by using that. So nice. um, good, good stuff going on there. And let me see if I can figure out a way to actually post that. <laughs> and I guess uh, it's uh, absolutely official. I mean, it, uh, when the show ended there in Fort Worth last week, it they are now. Um, impressions expo for for the uh foreseeable future and i'm going to guess for quite a while and uh we, we've talked about it before aaron but uh w when i first started going to the show it was uh it was imprint sportswear show but everybody called it the impressions show so i think yeah. they're they're trying to reconnect that uh that for all of the all of the new attendees yeah for sure and and honestly that's you know when uh, when they came on to announce that when martian and, and uh Josh, excuse me, I just had a total melt. I'm like, ah, what's his name? <laughs> Josh. Uh, when Josh and, and Marsha were there talking about it, you know, that was part of the conversation, you know, that that, that was kind of what it was called back then. And, and so it just kind of seemed like a nice natural evolution. So, you know, as we discussed there at the show, it, it, it's not going away. You know, we didn't want to freak anybody out going, this is the last ISS ever, but it is, <laughs> but it's not going away. It's just getting a rebrand. And, and, and within that rebrand, I mean, they're doing some really cool stuff. I mean, they're in Fort Worth. 
the the in kitchen putting on their their shop talk live setup down there man that was incredible such great information plus it was just cool you know i felt like i was hanging out with the cool kids <laughs> they are the cool kids of the industry now for yeah sure. yeah and um <laughs> so definitely really good stuff going on there and uh um you know and and they're focused on education and and that's what i love about our industry is we are getting there we're, we're getting focused on the education we're getting focused on on doing better so um, we really thank impressions for their support of us knowing that uh, we're all about education here so you know aaron long before i ever uh, bought my copy of uh, how to print t-shirts for fun and profit from by scott fresner yeah uh, i was a college student working there at the campus bookstore and every month reading impressions magazine and that really got got the bug going in me to uh to become a decorator so uh you know i have, I have a long history with impressions magazine and it's 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 kind of fun to see it coming full circle nice uh with with the sponsorship yeah is that history storied at all ter terry is it, it, is, it's it a, storied? is it a long storied history I, <laughs> it long, <laughs> trying it to define it very storied history <laughs> We could do a couple of episodes, but uh. yes, yeah, yeah. all right, yeah. Well, Cindy was there, and we, like I said, we got to talk to her, and she says the shop talk was really good, great information. So, yeah, good stuff going on there. So, thanks to them. So, yeah, Terry, let's. Uh, I mean, that kind of leads us in right to where we wanted to kind of start, and and what we wanted to talk about here today. And and those of you listening in live, you know, you get to be founding members. You know, you're part of this, and 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 the support of of. Um, what decorators community is Terry, I guess is where we want to kind of start. So I know um, we talked about it a little bit in the, in the wrap up show. And, and for those of you listening to the podcast, I haven't even had a chance to get that stuff up yet. So we are way behind there. But uh, <laughs> uh, when I say we, Wait, I am, you're doing, you're doing something besides this full time. Right? I know, I know it's crazy. <laughs> so uh, you'll be checking out all of this stuff maybe after the fact here, but um you know, we had tons of great conversations with lots of great people and stuff like that. And like I said, you were were um, also responsible for your day job, which is uh, over at Equipment Zone. So, you know, you didn't have an opportunity like Eric and I did to sit there and, and have as many conversations. But let, let, let's just start with with you, though. What what conversations did you have? What what was you know anything anything change in your mind about what we had talked about before the show and after the show? Well, the the interesting thing about the ISS Fort Worth show, and, and they've been doing that show there for years and years, and it's always been a really great show. Uh, it, it, it was kind of odd this time because, you know, two weeks later uh, is going to be Printing United there in Dallas as well. So there was some discussion about are, are some of the regulars going to be going to that or yeah. this event or that event. Uh, and, and it's always interesting that you have to take into account your environment when you, you you go into a trade show. Yeah, and and the Fort Worth show is in Texas in the fall. That means that Friday afternoon it kind of starts petering off because guess what? It's it's high school football night. Friday then, night lights. <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. And then on Saturday, and it's understood. You know, you're going to be busy in the morning, which we were. Uh, but but come afternoon, it's it's college football in Texas. So. You know that's that's all part of the game, but uh, I don't think we uh, I don't think we miss out on anyone. I don't think we uh, lose out on anything. It's just uh, it, it's all part of the schedule when you're when you're there in Texas. Um, you know, Aaron and and I mentioned this a lot uh, on the show here, but a lot of new folks, people who'd never been to a trade show before, were at this event, yeah. and and I love seeing that because the, those are the folks who are there looking for education. Those are the folks there looking to. Uh, you know, I had people walk into the booth saying, oh, OK, I, I see you printing shirts here. I don't know anything about any of this. Is is this screen printing? Is, is this uh, is this some other process? And uh, and so shows like that and, and, and really all the trade shows, you, we spend a lot of time uh, in the trade show booths educating people about uh, the process, uh, maybe more than talking to them about, OK, here's the price. That's sort yeah, of thing. yeah, so, yeah, for sure. But uh, I, I only got over to uh, to the garment decorators booth a couple of times. You and I did a did a, a you know a show there, and and then you guys had to come and find me and uh, <laughs> get a few minutes of uh, of uh, of uh, discussion there in my booth in the corner of my booth. But uh, you know, uh, I, I didn't, as you said, didn't get a chance to talk to very many people about hey, you know, what's what's the garment garment creators community going to be? So that's good. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be more in your court, I think. I know you and I <laughs> spent a lot of time over there just, yeah. just listening to people. 
for sure. And, and and yeah, so I I mean I thought it was really interesting, you know, I, having conversations both in in that educators lounge and and outside of the educators lounge about about that, you know, and and I'm not sure if it's just because we're talking about it more, Terry, or if there really is a, a renaissance in in the education space here, um, you know, and and I hope that we're we're moving the needle a little bit, but it it definitely was, you know, where you said people are hungry for knowledge, they they want to learn, but then the other part of it that was so fulfilling for me is that not only were they hungry for knowledge, but they also had their own knowledge that they were willing to share. You know, um, and and I am remiss because I did not get their business card. I was so excited about the conversation, but we were having a conversation with uh, a gentleman, and uh, I believe it was his girlfriend, maybe his wife. I, again, all the details don't really matter, but uh, uh, you know, they were really interested in what we were talking about. But they were also very tuned into the um, I don't know, the quilting market really tuned into the quilting market and and actually did a lot of training in that space and stuff like that so it was such an unique conversation to have this kind of back and forth with like okay here's what we're doing with sublimation here's what we're doing with direct garment here's what we're doing over here in this space and they go okay that's really great i see how that relates to what we're doing here and and where there's some crossover or you know that that adds this bit to me so um you know, I think that was what really stood out to me as as an overall theme was that it's it's uh, become such a more open. I don't know. You know, when we started this nearly eight years ago, Terry, I think the landscape was a little bit different. You know, things weren't quite as open and transparent, and and it just feels like that changes for the good every every time we go out there. So, any feedback on that, Terry? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, I, interesting you mentioned the quilters because I spoke to to many quilters there at that event. So uh, interestingly enough, uh, you know, Aaron, when you say maybe it's because we're talking about it, that we're seeing it, I, I think that's part of it. But I think, you know, we'd have to go back eight years. You know, you and I always do these uh, shows where we talk about what we'd like to see yeah. in the industry. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think the first year we talked about a place where somebody could, could go and say, okay, that's good education. I, I want to be yeah. a screen printer. And, and but I see all these different classes and seminars, you know, and, and we, we said if there was only a way to put a stamp of approval on something like this and even suggested that this would be a great, uh, a great avenue for SGIA. Well, nobody, nobody really jumped on to that, but mm -hmm. everybody agreed it was a good idea. And I think now that that um, you've spent so much time putting together this uh, this group that, you know, the, the Marshall Atkinson's of the world who's who's listening to the show right now you know, come to you and say, well, yeah, that this is what we've needed all along. Uh, there's someone else that, that you and I both talked to that I don't think is ready to announce their plans for training yet, but, but said, gosh, this is exactly what I need because I, I have this information. I'm not quite sure how to get it out there, but, but with this community, you know, this might be the vehicle where I can start sharing uh, a, a lot of good information. And this particular person has, has many, many, many years experience in the industry, but isn't out there speaking, isn't out there doing articles, sure. but, but wants to share their information. So, so, you know, maybe it's a combination. And, and of course, Aaron, uh, this show attracts those like-minded people with, as, yeah. uh, so, you know, maybe part of it is, <laughs> is all those people in the far reaches of, uh, of, uh, of America and North America <laughs> and the world are saying, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that too, and it's all it's all coming together. You yeah, know? yeah, positive, it's a, positive it's a, thoughts attract. Yeah, positive thoughts. <laughs> totally. Yeah, it's the law of attraction, man. It really works. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, Marshall said between Shirt Lab and teaching eight classes at ISS Fort Worth, I spoke to over 200 plus shop owners in two weeks. Uh, he's got a great blog article uh, about that up on on his website there at AtkinsonT-shirt.com. So definitely check that out. Curtis says he 100. percent agrees and uh christine says it's difficult to know who the experts are and who is just trying to make a buck i think something like the decorators community can be hugely helpful uh appreciate that feedback christine um let's see here i want to get because this is to me terry this show is all about let's let i want to i want to get <laughs> just take in all that feedback you know so yeah. uh, i used to have to know somebody in the business that trusted you in order to share before it was an attitude of 
figure it out like I did. Now it's a sharing environment that does not feel threatened. I see so yeah, that's that's Carolyn said it way better than what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, and I, I really do think that that's the case. I, you know, uh, Terry and I have, may have been in this for a long time. You know, I know we look a lot younger than we are, but um, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying that again, law of attraction, Terry. I'm gonna hey, say this. Podcast. We can say what we want. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, so it, it has been a it, it has been a definitely a shift though. I mean, I, I definitely remember those times where, you know, I was reaching out to somebody and, and it was, you know, trying to learn something or trying to kind of make a connection. And, but then, and, and it was always like, you know, they were very protected because they felt like I was coming at them trying to take advantage of them or, you know, steal something from them or something like that. So it, it is about that. Yeah. Let's just, let's just share. I mean, <laughs> Terry, you've said it a ton of times. It's not, uh, <laughs> you have no big secrets, you know, <laughs> your secret of any type of de decorating does not exist. Yeah. No matter correct. how much you want to believe it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you can do it a lot better than everybody else. And honestly, if you're sharing it, you're already at further along than most of those people anyways. So it, it's, you know, um, I'm reading a book right now uh, by Cal Newport called uh, so good. They can't ignore you. And it's that, you know, it talks about how you, just really focus on being great at something. And, and it's that 10,000 hours, you know, and <laughs> so, uh, you know, getting there. So I lo love all that. Um, you, you know, Aaron, also with, with, uh, with social media too, I think that a lot of folks who, who used to hold their information close to their chest are seeing more and more people out there sharing that information and, and, and all of a sudden maybe saying, well, you know, maybe that's not such a bad thing to to interact with some of these folks. And, you know, when I first started in business many, many, many years ago, <laughs> the, the people that when he was I, five <laughs> the people that I would interact with were, were really the local competitors. And, you know, how much do you want to share with your local competitor? I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have made a, a lot of difference. And and looking back, uh, my my biggest competitor and we we weren't in an unfriendly situation. They were just competitors, you know, but. Uh, I ran into uh, to the owner of that company. Uh, this was probably 25 years later. And he said, he goes, gosh, it's so great to see you again. You know, I save all your articles. And I thought, well, how interesting that we could have probably uh, been sharing information way back then. If he's saving all of my articles, we could have probably been on a much more interactive relationship. But but uh, with, with uh, social media, I think that certainly easier to share the information. And I think it's, it's opened up people's minds to the, to the possibility of doing that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay. Well, let, let me get to a couple of things that, uh, that Eric had to say, cause Eric was, uh, there with us, uh, with, with me and, and, you know, <laughs> kind of in a way filling in a little bit for, for you, Terry, cause you had, like I said, had, had a, had a day job to take care of, you know, <laughs> the, the pay over there was not nearly as good. Um, <laughs> So he said, uh, enabling the decorators and experts to, that haven't had a platform is so crucial, so awesome to reveal those treasures to the people who need to hear from them. Um, he said education was everywhere to the point that it was my entire takeaway from ISS Fort Worth. I might have recorded a video on the floor about it, in fact. Um, yeah, it was always fun to see. <laughs> you know, we, we'd be out recording something and then I'd go and, and be off in the corner and I'd turn around and Eric's over there, man, just add more content and he was crushing it. So, <laughs> uh, let's Eric see. Eric also uh, usually doesn't have the freedom to do that sort of thing. He's usually got a you know, half dozen seminars that he's teaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and his seminars aren't an hour and 20 minutes like mine. His yeah. Like three or four or five hours. Totally, totally. In fact, uh, and then Carolyn uh, pipes in here. The Facebook page, Women in Garment Decoration, has great group sharing and support for women in business. So, yeah, huge stuff there. Um, Christine's been heading that up, and uh, that and group Kayla, wasn't. Kayla, Kayla Gayton is uh, from that group is going to be uh, our guest here in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, totally. So, um, <laughs> I like Christine's comment here that the group was an outgrowth of a podcast we were doing on this very platform. The two really guys are our godfathers, grandfathers. Oh, I don't know if that if that's I'm a go with uh, godfather if we get a choice. Yeah, but yeah. If, if, if we can pick the main things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Marshall uh, said, you know, sharing. Look at the success of, of Josh Ellsworth with stalls or Ryan Moore at Ryan at All Made. Uh, you know, and, and and Josh is definitely one of those guys that that stands out to me as somebody that has just given and shared and shared and shared. And, you know, he 
he was doing it for a long time just as a I want to give back kind of thing. And, and now look where he's at, you know, I think he's nearly running stalls at this point, <laughs> it seems like. So um, always great to talk to him. We had a really good conversation with him and his booth and some of the new stuff uh, happening there. So, uh, ah, here we go. And, and Susan just uh, wrapped it up for me. In fact, it was great to see Sue and, and Mike and, and get a chance to hang out with them there in Fort Worth. And there's a shout out that I missed right there, Terry. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> she says, it seems, well. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me the more I share help someone else, the more I grow also. So that that's that's the we, we've wrapped it up. We're, we're done for the day, Terry. That's uh, OK. <laughs> right in the bow. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. So. um Last part there, just kind of the bigger, you know, the the analogy that kind of came to me that that I shared during one of the live events that I think is really kind of solidifying itself in my mind. And, and I'd love to have your feedback on it, Terry. But I see the decorators community kind of being a hub, maybe kind of maybe kind of like an old train turntable kind of thing where stuff comes in. We fix it up, not really or, or just whatever, you know, check it out say yes it's good spin them around to where they need to go and and push them out and you know you want education you're coming in on another track and i you know that's the way it kind of feels to me like what's needed out there and and what we can provide so um you know so that there's my analogy the the, the hub train turntable thing <laughs> and i'll get better at it as we go <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but you're right and and you know there's there are obviously two types of education one is is uh, here's here's information that's going to make you and your business better, and the other educations out there is uh, here's a few tips. And by the way, the best way to do it is with my software, my machine, yeah. my process. So um, that's not what we're looking for here. We're we're looking for folks to give back, and you know um, that type of thing comes back to you, and, and not you know it's not an ulterior motive, but. But people want to do business with folks who are who freely share knowledge and information. And, and trust mm -hmm. me, I talk to people all the time that never bought anything from me. Uh, they'll call me up and, you know, in, in direct a garment, for instance. And and I was just dealing with someone yesterday that that bought a machine from somebody else, just uh, just was having a lot of trouble getting going. I said, well, let me let me send you. Here's a list of recommended shirts. And, and yeah. I think that might be your problem and this and this and this. Um, there, there was no uh, reciprocal uh, inter interaction uh -huh. there. It was just, hey, you know what? Go out there, be successful, maybe someday. And I've had people six, seven, eight years uh, ago come back and say, you know, you helped me on this. And, yeah. and I'm, looking, uh, I'm looking to buy equipment or whatever. But again, sure. no ulterior motive. I, I, I have no anticipation of ever hearing from these folks again. I just just want to want to help them be successful. Yeah, totally. And, and you know, at that stage, you know, when you're, you're at that stage of just helping them be successful, you know, that's important because the more success that's out there, the more success we're all going to have. You know, if that person's out there, you know, selling crappy shirts and the consumers are getting their crappy shirts, we all get lumped into that. You know, right. so that's why it is so important to share and help and and get things out there. So it's a it's it's really important. And you know, Terry, you can determine for yourself. But you know, back in our days when we were selling together, um, you know, back at U.S. Screen Days, I mean, I'm the first to admit that I'm a horrible salesperson. It just it's not it's not who I am. I, I you know, I but I felt like I was a good educator. And, you know, and, and that's, I think where we kind of, kind of staked our claim, Terry, is we were, we were willing to help people figure out their business and, and how they were going to use the tools to be successful and then let them go out and figure it out, you know, have some quote unquote real salesperson try to sell them on their product. <laughs> and we'd go, yeah, dude, go check that out. You know, I mean, you guys do it now with equipment zone, bring me, bring me your file. We'll print it. We'll show you. Here's what's going right, to work. Exactly. And here's what's not going to work. You know, and so it's not a it's not a sale. It's not a sales process. It's an educational process. And then they you know, make their decisions based yeah. on that. Aaron, at the uh, at the Printing United, formerly SGIA, in mm -hmm. a couple of weeks in the Equipment Zone booth, we're going to have uh, hourly 15 minute training sessions. But it's not just me and Jay and, and Jeff Morgenthaler. It, we, we've got folks from uh, from Epson who are going to be there talking. We've got folks from uh, from. Uh, different fa uh, different uh, garment companies who are going to come and talk. 
Uh, Dane Clement's going to come and uh, do a session uh, each day. So it, it's going to just be a, a space to come and get some tidbits of information absolutely for free. And, uh, and again, it, it's, it's our booth, but we have people from all over the industry who are going to be coming there giving, uh, giving their information. So Yeah, that's- cool. That sounds awesome. It sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, let me get a couple more comments here, Terry, before I get too far away here. She's, uh, Christine Shreve says, education is the core plank of the NMART philosophy. Uh, I've answered a ton of questions for people who never bought a thing from us. It's all about helping people. If we end up with a customer at the end of it, that's great, but it's not the goal. Same thing with trade shows. And then Brian uh, says from, from Imbrilliance says, Christine, that's very well said. And what we also do at Imbrilliance, help people no matter what, make friends, sales happen on their own. So um, yeah, really good stuff there. Well, Terry, you know, in a sense here, you know, reading the comments and just kind of knowing who the, who the regulators are, I feel like in a little bit of uh, of a sense, we are preaching to the choir here. Right. So, um, you know, but I think it's important for us to kind of share what our thoughts are, though, so people can kind of make their own opinions and, and get get things sure. sorted out in their head, you know, if, if they fit into this. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today was, you know, I'd come up with some core values that I wanted to uh, have decorators community kind of be centered on. And, and basically something, you know, as I talk to small businesses and stuff like that, I always talk to them about, you know, finding their why and, and, and getting the, the core values down as the first thing that you do, because then every decision you make after that is really easy because it's, you basically say, does it fit within this? If not, it's a no. If yes, then it's a yes. I mean, how, how much easier can decision making be? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I guess I wanted to just, you know, I kind of, like I said, came up with these a little bit, but I know that this is what you and Eric are all about. So I felt good about it. Um, but I wanted to kind of say what they are, get your take on it. I'll give a little bit of my take on it and, and get through that. Regulators, you guys jump in on your take on what those things are and, uh, and we'll go from there. Does that sound good, Terry? Sure. Let's do that. Okay. Well, the first one is abundance. So, uh, Terry, go. <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, I think that's, uh, uh, to me, and, and you may have a little bit different take on it, but it's just uh, just a, a quantity of, of, of information and sharing and, uh, and uh, being, uh, being and basically holding nothing back on, on, on what we're offering out yeah. there to, uh, to the folks who, uh, who are looking for that, that education, looking for that, uh, that information. And, you, you know, um, it, it, when you said why I, I had to laugh a little bit, uh, <laughs> uh, our good friend, Jay Bissell, he, uh, we were talking about the why of getting into business and yeah. he said, he says, well, for me, it's why not? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I loved it. I love it. Yeah. Too, but but what, what's your, uh, what's your feeling on abundance? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you've pretty much nailed it there. And, and honestly, you know, some of the stories that you've told throughout this uh, whole conversation, Terry, really kind of resonated with me. And I mean, it goes back to the, the news segment you shared, you know, we, we shared a, a competing podcast, you know, competing, whatever. Um, but that's, that's the mentality. That's the attitude that we want to be associated with people that go, you know what, if I can help somebody with something, Great. And, and just like we've had in the comments here, you know, people saying share doesn't, we're not looking for customers. We're looking to help people. And if they become customers, that's just a happy byproduct. And so to me, that's what an abundance mindset is. It's that, you know, and, and I'm a, a extremely competitive person. I, I, you know, Terry probably knows this better than anybody else. So this is a, th- you know, this was a tough one for me to kind of wrap my head around but the more i was able to wrap my head around it the more i realized that you know i yeah i didn't have to get upset or jealous when i saw somebody else doing something out there and instead you know i want to support that and help and be a part of it and and things like that so yeah that that's to me i think we're on the same page there Uh, the abundance mindset is is that it's you know not worrying about what everybody else does just worrying about doing better and doing more and helping more people so um see here. I wanted to share Christine's here real quick. An abundance mindset is so important. Some people think if they share what they know, they're empowering them, their competitors or competition and taking away opportunities from themselves. That's so not true. There's enough for everyone. Absolutely. So, yep, there you go. 
we should just have Christine write these things up and we could call <laughs> this a day. So, <laughs> uh, um, good stuff. And, and definitely if you're listening to the podcast version, please get over to the Facebook page at facebook.com slash two regular guys and uh, get into the videos and get into the comments. We, we try to get to as many of them as we can, but we don't get to all of them. So, you know, just keep that conversation going. All right, Terry, the second one, generosity. You know that that's a, a perfect lead-in uh, from uh, from abundance. Is yeah. Uh, my perfect example of this is is Brett Bowden, uh, who owns Printed Threads, yeah. uh, actually here or here uh, back in Fort Worth. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what city you're in, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get that big book of travels out. And <laughs> but uh, but uh, you know, I, I I got I toured his shop uh, this past year and. And he invited several of us uh, from Equipment Zone over to, to check it out, and and uh, and he said basically to in to in, to the the effect of, you know, I I don't mind sharing information because because uh, just like uh, Christine said, there's enough to go around. No, by me sharing how to do something or or where to source something or or how to. Uh, how to do this process better yeah. it has zero impact on my business because uh, you know I, i'm gonna i've got mine and and uh and I, I do such a good job with what i do and i'm speaking for brett i, I do mm -hmm. such a good job with what i do that you're not going to take the information i share with you and steal my customers away yeah so that's yeah that's and my it, feeling on generosity totally and i mean i think you hit that right on the head and it, it is like that generosity is, 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 yeah, they're not going to steal it. If, if they can come and steal your customers away by information you just gave them, um, you're not doing something right with your customers. You know, you have to, you know, again, that's so good. They can't ignore you kind of thing. And, and, and that's what Brett's really done. I, I remember talking to him, uh, on the podcast where he talked about that, that, uh, you know, he's printing for the Dallas Mavericks basketball team. And, you know, those of you know that know Brett, he's not uh, really a sports guy, <laughs> band, <laughs> awesome band guy. And, you know, so <laughs> I would not go and talk to him about sports, but if you want to talk about band, Brett's your guy. But um, so anyhow, yeah, je that's yeah. Generosity to me. And, and I think it is kind of a, a nice tie in or almost very similar to abundance where, you know, if you give um, you will, you will get, uh, I had a guy that uh, I was able to talk to on my small business Saturdays podcast named Dale. Fert, Fert Wingler, I always mess up his last name, but uh, he's he's written some books and stuff like that. And uh, when I was talking to him, he, the comment that he made that, that sticks in my head that I always share is that, uh, you know, you can't outgive the universe. So if, if I'm giving, you know, your brain doesn't know if you're giving to somebody else, or you're giving to yourself. And it, it's it's just one of those things you can't outgive the universe. So um, I, I that's where generosity comes from for me is, is that, that comment there that you can't outgive the universe. So, um, all right, let me make sure that I didn't miss any good comments here. I mean, obviously we are missing some good comments, but, uh, Eric, I, I want to make sure that we're, we're getting Eric's stuff in here too. Eric's, uh, again, handling the comments for us. It's all about acting out as a self assured out of and self-assured place that respects our values first rather than out of fear of not having enough and and yeah i guess so the opposite of the abundance mentality is that scarcity mentality that that there isn't enough that uh, i've got a you know that fear so getting getting over that that's that's really good too christine says it's often about confidence too people are confident in their skills and often quite generous with what they know they don't worry that sharing knowledge will impact their business they know they're good at what they do and have confidence that they can hold the customers they have and get more. So, uh, perfect stuff. All right. Well, uh, leading right in again, you know, Christine, <laughs> the official two regular guys writer, um, you're now on payroll, Christine, uh, just like Eric. So, uh, just like all of us, you'd same, same check. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but that, that leads into the third one, self-belief. Uh, absolutely. And, and, and I think that Christine and, and, uh, Eric said it really well that you have to have confidence in, in your own abilities and you in, have to have confidence in your own business plan. And, and uh, you know, if, if you are out there being successful and those are the folks that are, you know, you know the unsuccessful people are not the folks out there giving uh, seminars <laughs> and, <laughs> and sharing information. So, you know, you have to have that confidence in, in your own abilities to, to, uh, um, to, to do the job, keep your customers. And, and, uh, as, as Eric said, you know, 
uh, work from a, a position of, of your own values. And, yeah. and so I, I don't think I can add more than what the two of them have, have just said. Yeah, no, I, I did for a couple of minutes. <laughs> that's what we love about you, Terry. I don't know if I can, I can talk for 15 minutes, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> Here I go. He believes in himself. He's, he's showing it right there. Yeah, that's perfect, Terry. Good job. Lead well, by it, example. It, and you know, Aaron, let me let me uh, jump back in there real quick <laughs> and say, you know, a lot of folks who um, I, we were we were discussing the person who who's never done the seminars, but he, he has this information he wants to share. Uh, you know, it, it really does come to uh, self confidence and and getting up there and talking. And hey, all of us, all of us, the first time we got up in front of a crowd, mm -hmm. you know, y your uh, your throat gets a little dry, and uh, yeah, but. You have to have confidence in, in your knowledge and and the fact that, hey, guess what? Everybody out there in that room wants you to be successful with what you're about to say. And, and that, I always tell new speakers that everybody out there, everybody listening to you wants you to you have it. They want to have a, success, a successful seminar and, and they want you to be successful presenting it. So that makes it a little easier to get up there and yeah. uh, and say what you need to say. For sure. For sure. No, that's, a, that's a really good point. And, and you know, to to kind of play off that, you know, it, it is tough, you know, to get out there and, and, and do that. Um, you know, I've told story several times now that, uh, you know, I basically used Porteria here to, uh, <laughs> get to, to where I'm at with that stuff. You know, I, I was terrified of it and, uh, you know, I found somebody I knew was really good at it and I said, Hey, can we do a seminar together? <laughs> and, uh, it works out. So, um, yeah, yeah. It, it, sure. I know we talked about that recently here on the show, but uh, I think people should take that to heart. If if you want to go and speak, find somebody else to go and speak with, because sure. uh, our seminars, Aaron, are basically our show. We, yeah. we bounce back and forth, back and forth, and uh, and then they give us a high sign that we're out of time. For sure. <laughs> like I'm gonna have to watch out here. Um, <laughs> so, so speaking of of that, yeah. It, like I said, finding, well, I'm not going to go down that road. We'll talk about that another day. I was going to talk about how, yeah, finding somebody to, to help you and stuff like that, but we need to keep going. Um, I did want to get to Christine said, uh, so what two drinks at the next show we're all at. Yep. Yep. That's the two drink minimum. Um, <laughs> we'll buy you lunch at Dax. Oh yeah. The Dax folks do that for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Marshall's got a good question. I'd, I'd love to hear uh, everybody's take on this, but uh, here's a question for the audience. Does your company have core values that you follow and build your business upon? So um, yeah, we're sharing, our core values here right now and and uh, would love to hear yours as well so let's get to the next one um wait sorry i didn't do my part on self-belief i will just give you another quote uh walt disney's quote was uh if you can if you can dream it you can do it and uh, that that's self-belief you know if you can if you can dream it you can do it but you just you have to do it and you may fail here and there, but you got to fail forward, right? <laughs> you know, Aaron, I was going to say that, you know, Walt Disney was not always successful. He, uh, yeah. he, he, he tripped and stumbled, you know, starting there in Kansas City and, uh, and, uh, but, but never gave up on his dream. And, and, uh, you know, look, look at what he's, uh, what he had accomplished in his lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, another story like that that's worth going and, and reading. Uh, I saw somebody post this on, on Facebook the other day. Uh, the story of Colonel Sanders, the Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know, he was a failure his whole life until he retired. And uh, in that 20 years, he uh, created a billion dollar industry in Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, um, yeah, exactly. In fact, Apparently, as the story goes, and, and again, I, I haven't read deep enough, so if this is a little off or concocted, but the story goes, he was uh, contemplating suicide and was out writing his will. And while he was writing his will uh, before c contemplating suicide, he decided that, you know, the one thing he could do better than anybody else was cook and, uh, you know, changed his world. So, yeah, um, and ours. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So Marshall says, uh, here's his core values, human to human connection, education, honesty, truth, best practice practices and movement forward. So, uh, yeah, that's great stuff. Marshall yeah. does fit fit right in nicely. And, and, and of all those, too, I mean, those are all great movement forwards. I, I think the one that that people kind of forget about, you know, you, you, you got to keep pushing forward. Yep, for sure. Love it. OK, uh, we're going to. I don't want to go over because I know you got to get to the show there, Terry, but uh, significant. <laughs> you got 10 minutes. We'll figure it out. Significance. Well, and I, I think what you mean by this is, is, uh, is, uh, 
having those core values and and uh, having something important to share and uh, and and then sharing that that uh, that thought idea plan system that that you have you know that you know Marshall I think is a good example of uh, of the way that he he approaches things and and one of the things he's doing right now I, I, is it if it is it Marshall correct me is it five steps to six. Six, six steps. steps. Uh, oh, there it is. Well, read it for me there. Aaron. Yes. Six <laughs> steps to kill your production downtime. There you uh, go. In fact, we're going to talk about that here in a little bit, and, but uh, and, yeah. And that's, that's a huge thing for me because I, uh, I, I, I am a, a preacher of, of correcting downtime because everybody's got printing down. It, it's, it's the downtime. It's yeah. the things that keep you from your presses from running that, 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 make or break your business. Totally. What, okay. what's, what's your take on significance? Yeah, there? definitely. Well, I'm going to, Let's see if I put that up there right there. Significance. That's uh, these are some of my personal core values and significance is, is at the top uh, to have a tree of people like a coaching tree who have learned something from my ventures and want to pass the learning along to others. I want to raise the bar in all areas of my life, decorating small business, volleyball and my family. So uh, that's as succinct as I can tell it right there. <laughs> That's significance to me. Um, all right. Uh, invest in success is the next one, Terry. Well, you know, this is, uh, this is one that everybody that I'm going to talk to today at the NBM show here in Denver uh, are investing in success and, and, and Hey, maybe they got a free pass to get in, yeah. but they're investing today in, in making their time their yeah. business better. And, you know, there, there's, you, you've got to make those investments. When I when I talk to people who say they've never been to a trade show, they've never been to a seminar, you know, Aaron, when I do my classes, uh, my screen printing classes, I start by saying you, everybody in this room now has a huge advantage over all your competitors back home. Yeah. And that advantage is you're right here. You invested money and you invested two days of your time to come here to make your business better. And most of your competitors are never going to do that. So yep. the yep. Folk, people that are, that are successful are those that, that make that investment. And maybe it's not a, a financial investment, but investment an investment of time is, is just as valuable. Totally. Yep. I, I agree. And I think you, you kind of hit it right there on the head. I mean, um, I was talking to uh, one of my f folks in the co-working space here this morning about some stuff, and we were talking about what it gone on in Texas, you know, she was asking me how it went and all this other stuff. And, and I was getting into that whole, you know, we, we, our goal here is to get people's mindset changed to where it is about investing, you know? So think about all the times you've you know, taken something free or, you know, just kind of, it kind of blows right over your head and you go, oh yeah, that's good information. But there wasn't a whole lot of my skin in the game. So you're probably just going to let go of that. And, and to me, that investment in success is changing your thought. It's like, how much does this cost? Well, don't worry about what that costs. Worry about what the return on that investment is. So it's almost like buying a heat press. Yes, you could spend $100 or $200 on some thing from China. Um, but, you know, you're probably going to ruin a lot of product. It'll probably only work for about a year. It's probably going to give you more heartache than it's worth. Um, or you could spend... $1,500, $2,500 on something that's got a lifetime warranty that's proven that you can use every day. Things are going to come out great. I mean, so if you're just looking at it strictly from a $2,500 versus $200 uh, cost situation, then you're going to always choose the $200. But if you're looking at it from a return on investment perspective, you know, $2,500 divided by the lifetime of my business, divided by how many products I'm not going to ruin, divided by how much less time I have to spend trying to figure this thing out kind of thing, um, then that's a whole different decision making process. And I think the same goes for education. You know, if you invest, you know, I, I spent a lot of money in the success principles training program. And you know, I've had other things that I've looked at like that and, and you know, listened to videos and done all this other stuff. And none of those things I did anything with until I invested my own money into this to, you know, now I'm going to make sure that I'm really darn good at it because I invested money into it. So right. <laughs> um, that, that's what invest in success is to me. And I, I think that that lines up perfectly. So, 
Um, and we are, we, there's a ton of great comments that we're not even going to uh, be able to get to here. So, um, you guys are, are freaking awesome as usual, <laughs> but let's talk about solutions, Terry. Well, it, it, solutions, you know, is, uh, in the way I look at it is don't tell me how to do this and this and this, I have this problem, help me find a solution to the yep. problem. And that's, that's, that's what a lot of what education is and and you know when i do seminars i love the question and answer period because that's when people really come out and say okay here's my problem here's, yeah uh and, and and i talk about here on the show sometimes the person that said to me here's my problem i can't sleep at night yeah and and, and the reason they couldn't sleep at night is because they had no control of their schedule and 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 so i gave them a solution to that and and uh, they were abundantly thankful for that <laughs> for that sure. help yeah, no, that's perfect. I mean, that's uh, that's uh, right in line. Again, falls into my little. Uh, <laughs> so that's number two on my list: solutions and uh, looking for ways to get better all the time. I will not get bogged down in the who or what of the challenge; only the why or the cause that leads to a solution. I work best with people who bring solutions, not problems, and find myself in the middle of many things because I spot an opportunity to solve a challenge. So, um, yeah. Yep. Uh, sorry. I, there's <laughs> squirrel. Yeah. All sorts of great <laughs> stuff that I feel like I'm, I'm missing over here, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that here in a second. Um, all right. So solutions, uh, accountability is the last one we're going to talk about here. That's my favorite one. And I have a great yeah. answer for you. Because, all right. <laughs> uh, because this morning before we went on the air, uh, you and I've been talking about this project that I'm working on. And the first words out of your mouth were, so uh, do you have a date for this, Terry? A, a date of completion on this project. That's accountability. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, I mean, that that is a way, you know, and honestly, I learned this the hard way. I, I'd been talking about my digital marketing webinar for, for felt like a year and a half, two years, something like that, and never did it, never did it, never did it. I went to uh, the can feel one day to greatness thing and came back from that going, okay, I've got to take action. And the way to take action was I put a date on it. You know, yeah. I said, Hey, November 11th, I'm going to, it's going to happen. And so between that time and November 11th, I had to figure out <laughs> how to make that happen. Yeah. Um, but that was that accountability piece. You know, I, Eric, uh, it, I forced him to uh, <laughs> get out of his comfort zone a little bit there, and, and he's going to be doing demystifying digitizing on March 28, 2020. So you know, oh, we now, put a date on not, it. Not only does is uh, Eric committed to you, but now everybody knows. Mark yeah. your calendars, everyone. Mark your calendars for <laughs> sure. So you know that's I'm going to keep pushing on Terry. I We're going to put Eric a date on this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, so good stuff there. Um, yeah. So that's accountability. Uh, the last core value I, I think is needs no explanation. I mean, it's called decorators community. So and community. I mean, it is about all of us coming together and, and not about let me can i give you one quick example sure absolutely uh, me, <laughs> you eric and marshall hopping in a car and driving uh <laughs> to california yeah and talking garment and product decorating all the way there and all the way back that's that's community <laughs> yeah that is community yeah decorators and cars eating cookies right you know yeah <laughs> terry and uh, or terry eric and marshall and i had a chance to go to breakfast in in fort worth and you know, it, it was uh, decorators at a restaurant without cookies. You know, I mean, <laughs> uh, so eating pancakes. <laughs> yeah, eating pancakes. I, I think I had eggs, but Marshall had a whole loaf of bread as French toast. So it was it looked delicious. <laughs> um, all right. So so those are the core values. I think we've covered that. I know we're you said we can't go into bonus time, Terry, but we're going to anyhow. So I apologize. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. So I guess the, the last thing I wanted to to talk about or, or what are the action items here guys what do we what do we need to do from here what uh what do you guys see what what can we help you with terry any thoughts on you know what 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 are kind of some of those in your mind next action items that that decorators community needs to to be well I'd, yeah I'd, I'd certainly like to see uh uh some uh reference information for people to go to that uh for instance uh i i need uh, i need to have you know, I'm not an artist. I don't have an artist on my staff. I need to do some contract art. I'd love to see there a list of, of contract artists who uh, who like to work with people all over the country, maybe all over the world. And and uh, I have people ask me that all the time. I have a couple of business cards from folks that say, OK, we'll try this person. 
And, uh, and with, I think that would be, that, that's one of the things we talked early on about what a great clearinghouse item that would be that we could, uh, we could offer that kind of service. So that's uh, that's an action item. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, so the action items from my vantage point uh, are uh, first off a shout out to anybody that is an educator, wants to be an educator, um, you know, come together. We had an opportunity to spend that time in Texas with uh, Clay from uh, CorelTrainer.com. And, uh, you know, again, it, it's, you know, he even had the the idea of, you know, let's, let's share, you know, he's got a list, I've got a list, you know, let's not necessarily sharing the list, but sharing each other's information out to each other's lists and things like that. So um, my action item is is just calling all the educators that that want to be part of this and and get signed up. Um, so if you go down here to two regular guys.com slash decorators community, you can get signed up there. There's a place if you want to be a scholar, which is, you know, needing the information and a place you want to be the, an educator. And honestly, uh, we've got folks that are signing up on, on both sides. So I encourage you to sign up on both sides. Even if you think you're just a scholar, you've got something to share. You've got some information out there that uh, is going to help somebody else. So, you know, it could be as um, easy and quick as, you know, come and join us on Two Regular Guys podcast and talk about your business. Or it could be, you know, you want to set up an ebook or you want to set up a webinar or, or you want to do a Q&A session or whatever the case may be, you know, we want to be that clearinghouse, that hub for that. So uh, if you guys have other action items, uh, things like that, go ahead and start posting them in there. I will get back into the comments after we're done here uh, this weekend and really dive in and, and, and pull out anything out of there that uh, that you guys think we need to be doing. Um, you know, so we'll start getting the web page built and, and all that kind of fun stuff right now. And uh, good stuff there. Anything else, Terry? Uh, we... Uh, we cover covered a lot. <laughs> I, I think we could have probably gone another hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so maybe we'll uh, we'll pick a couple of more of these subjects and do a little deep dive like we uh, we've done in the past. And uh, I always love those shows where we can really really talk nuts and bolts about about uh, the hows and whys of, of of what we're doing. So yeah. let's let's look for filling in some of those spots uh, in the in the winter season here and uh, yep. and uh, and we'd love to hear. Uh, you know, for many of the regulators out there, what, you know, what areas you'd like us to really, really uh, dig into? Yeah, focus in on. I'd love that for sure. Um, I know we've got, uh, we had somebody request, uh, I think it was Marion requested uh, some information on, um, just slipped my mind, uh, retirement planning for small businesses. And uh, uh, so, you know, uh, we're working on that actually, hopefully November 1st is what we're shooting for. Uh, we're trying to kind of we found some guys that do do their own podcast in the financial world, and they actually had a really good podcast that kind of was on point for what I think we want to talk about. But uh, we want them to come on here and, and tw twist it for us, the, the decorators. So uh, uh, we're working on that. Um, yeah, here we go. A round table with everyone involved is a way to help those uncomfortable breaking out of their shell. I oh, love, love it. Love that. Marshall says you guys should have a calendar feature. There's so much going on. Totally agree with that, Marshall. Good stuff. Uh, Terry, uh, I, I know you've got nothing going on. So Andrew said, <laughs> I just got here. Can you start over? So you've got okay. time, right? I, I'll do that for Andrea. Okay. So anyway, welcome to the show. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, here we go. Topic idea, buying and selling of a business. Oh, that's excellent. I that like is that. an excellent idea. Uh, Brian, if you know anybody, i.e. yourself, um, we'd love to have you on. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> well, yeah, because, you know, nobody knows. Uh, people say, well, what's it worth? Well, here's here's the equipment I have. And, yeah, and yeah. putting a value on something like that is uh, is difficult. Cool. Cool. If anybody has ideas for people that would be good on topic, talking about that topic, or Brian, if you're, you're bringing, I know you've got a lot of knowledge in a lot of different areas, so maybe that's, a, that's something there for you. So, cool. Great stuff. All right, Terry. Well. Well, Aaron, uh, I think I guess, it's time to, uh, yeah. in, in the after hours, to hear a word <laughs> from our sponsor, Ace Transfer. Have you been looking to grow your business or start one in the garment decoration industry? After all, that's why you're listening, right? Ace Transfer Company is located in Springfield, Ohio, and we've provided our customers with high-quality transfers, competitive prices, and great customer service for nearly 30 years. 
Ace Transfer Company offers a wide variety of garment decoration services, including screen printed transfers, contract screen printing, direct to garment or DTG, dye sublimation, signs, banners, heat transfer vinyl, pressure sensitive vinyl, and more. Use your own designs or have our in-house artists assist you in creating eye-catching transfers. At ACE, we are dedicated to helping your business succeed. So print your vision at ACE. For more information, visit our website, acetransfercompany.com. Send us an email at acetransco at gmail.com. That's A-C-E-T-R-A-N-S-C-O at gmail. Or give us a call at 800-525-3126. All right. Well, thanks again to Ace Transfer, a long, long time friend of the show. And uh, uh, so glad that they are uh, part of the sponsorship program now. And uh, we've uh, we they have uh, been uh, great supporters of ours for through the whole show. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we really appreciate David and, and all he's done for the industry, too. So acetransco.com is where to go check them out. And uh, really good stuff. I'm going to have to work on remastering that just a little bit. I think the uh, volume's a little bit low. So um, we'll see <laughs> how we fix that up. But uh, good stuff. All right, Terry. Well, um, I'm going to throw it to you here and uh, let me know what you've got going on. Uh, sure. I know you're in Denver right now, but uh, share with us the rest of Terry's big book of travel. <laughs> <laughs> I am at the uh, Denver MBM show right now. It's uh, going on today and tomorrow and the weather's going to be beautiful. It's warming up as we speak. And so if you're uh, close to Denver, come on out. Equipment Zone booth will be in the 700 aisle. You can't miss me just as Darren said, listen. <laughs> <laughs> listen for that laugh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, my upcoming complete screen printing business course, I will be in Nashville with Atlas Screen Supply, uh, October 26th and 27th. Uh, Phoenix Workhorse Products on November 2nd and 3rd. And I'm going to wrap up my year in Chicago with Atlas Screen Supply, November 16th and 17th. And of course, I'll be in the Equipment Zone booth at Printing United. We're going to be doing uh, in Dallas here in uh, about two weeks. And we'll be doing in-booth seminars uh, every hour for 10 to 15 minutes. So come by and say hello. And I look forward to seeing everybody at these shows down the road. Outstanding. All right, Terry. Well, I'm going to let you get off to the show so you can uh, you can bail out whenever you're ready and, and I'll close out the show here. I've got a couple of things personally coming up and, and as well as a couple of other events that I'd like to share. So uh, thanks All for right. a great show, Terry. And and uh, tell everybody I said hello there in Denver. Like I we'll said, get a, get a selfie with Todd for me, would you? I'll do it. All right. All right. All right. See you, man. Cool. Awesome. Well, always fun. You know, Terry and I have <laughs> loved doing this and we appreciate you guys joining us. Like I said, tons of great uh, information coming in here. Thank you guys uh, for, for everything and, and joining us. Uh, a couple of things that I've got going on here. Uh, I've every Saturday morning, I try to uh, be <laughs> as religious as possible about it as I can. Uh, Small Business Saturdays happens on, on Saturday mornings and I've been doing the uh, 7 a.m. Central time slot. Seems to be where people are just kind of getting up and getting some coffee and getting uh, getting their day going. So uh, we'll be doing that tomorrow at 7 a.m. Uh, I've got a uh, color run that I will be uh, doing that right there after. So uh, coming in hot at 7 and I'll be talking about uh, being so good they can't ignore you. I've been, like I said, I've been listening to that book and I'd like to discuss that a little bit more and and uh, get your guys' feedback on that. So that's happening. Uh, for those of you that uh, have not heard, I've been talking about it for a while here, but uh, Becoming a Digital Marketing Superhero is happening on uh, November 11th, 2019. And uh, if you want to sign up for that, if you go over to my website at aaronmontgomery.info slash marketing and uh, use the coupon code REGULATORS, that's going to save you $25. That coupon code's only going to be good uh, until the end of October. So, and, and we will fill, fill that up. We're about 38, 39% full right now. Um, but we, we started marketing quite a ways off. And honestly, I have done very little marketing on that other than uh, just talking about it on, on the different shows and stuff. So, um, we're going to turn up the volume here in a little bit. I don't want you guys to miss out on that opportunity. Even if you can't join us there on Monday, November 11th, uh, still sign up because uh, only those that sign up will have access to the recording, plus the other goodies and stuff that I plan on sharing with everybody on, on that event. So again, uh, becoming a digital marketing superhero, Monday, November 11th. Check that out. Uh, as mentioned, uh, Eric is going to be... Uh, 
people have been clamoring for this for a long time and uh, we're just going to make it happen because it, it needs to happen. It's going to be on a Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Eric is going to be teaching demystifying digitizing as a webinar. And uh, so we're, we're building that out. Uh, we're going to have that uh, all, all worked out here. It's kind of a, one of the flagship parts of the decorators community. So uh, make sure that you uh, get signed up at decoratorscommunity.com because that's where you'll be able to get information on that uh, to get us started. And uh, Eric will probably be sharing other things. You know, Eric's one of those guys that uh, it, I, I've met very few people that share as much as, as Eric does. And uh, so that's why we love working with him. And I can't wait. Uh, in fact, Eric's latest article on digitizing pixel embroidery is out. So you can check that out at Printware for all the details. Uh, there we go. And he's going to put a link up there for me. Um, appreciate that, Eric, getting that going. So yeah, check check all that out. Uh, such a share. And check out everything that they've got going on over there at Brilliance. Fantastic stuff. Um, getting there getting to sit there in Fort Worth with Eric. And uh, I was I was kind of the fly on the wall and people were coming up and there was like, oh yeah, love and brilliance. This is great. We're doing that. And they're talking about, I mean, like all of a sudden my eyes would gloss over because they were talking about things that were way above my head, but uh, check out all that. Um, also, as I popped up there before, I want to make sure that you guys are uh, familiar with this. We talked about it already. It's six steps to kill your production downtime. And if you go to atkinson.fyi slash six steps, you'll be able to sign up for the introductory price. Okay, that's that's five hundred dollars off um, coming up on the podcast that we're going to have from Fort Worth. You'll hear Marshall explaining the whole whole deal. But, um, you know, we were talking about the fact that if you can save yourself this much time and, and you have that much more production coming out of that, that. Uh, you know, you're going to be saving hundreds of dollars. In fact, uh, one of the folks that's in this program already uh, came on, Bobby, and and you'll hear his stuff on the podcast here coming soon. So definitely check that out. Again, that's over at atkinson.fyi slash six steps. So uh, check that out. And the last thing I wanted to share was uh, SJA is hosting Dane Clement for an event called Art and Separations for Screen Printing, Sprint, excuse me, Screen Printed Apparel. And that's happening December 2nd through the 3rd. And uh, so obviously getting an opportunity to sit down with Dane is is fantastic. So uh, check that out. And uh, I think that's about it. And lots of great stuff going on, obviously, all the shows. So get out to uh, Denver if you're in the area. Make sure you hit up Printing United coming up in Dallas, October 23rd through the 25th. But uh, we have come to the close of another show. So I want to thank everybody who stopped by in Fort Worth, everybody that participated in our live videos that we did there. I think we've got like 10 or 15 of them that you can go back and watch. And um, just everybody that supported us over the last eight years. You, you, the regulators are awesome. Everybody that was in the live today, such great information. I can't wait to go back into the comments myself and get to really read them all and, and interact and, and enjoy that conversation. Also want to make sure we really thank our, our show producer, Eric Campbell. You can check him out over at ericcampbell.com. That's E-R-I-C-H campbell.com. And I also want to thank our sponsors, the Impressions Expo and Ace Transfer Company. Uh, appreciate them making this happen, making it so we can uh, bring this to you every Friday and, and have have fun technology where we can pop comments up and all that kind of good stuff. So next week though, you got to tune in because this is where it all starts. Uh, what we've all been waiting for. Uh, in fact, I don't even know how many years this must be seventh annual. I'm guessing uh, seventh annual Reggie awards. We will be announcing the categories. So if you guys have any suggestions on any categories that maybe we've missed or need to add, uh, please let us know between now and then. Just hit us up on Facebook or, or get over to tworegularguys.com and uh, go to the Contact Us page there and, and let us know what categories we need to have there. But uh, we'll be announcing those categories next week, plus a little bit of bonus content. Uh, Terry's got some things in the works, so uh, we'll be giving you a little extra information at the end of that. So tune in. So uh, again, I'm Aaron Montgomery. Uh, make sure to check out terrycombs.com and ericcampbell.com. Uh, very integral parts of this. Uh, I'm just the, the back end here. So, <laughs> so anyhow, my name is Aaron Montgomery. Thank you so much. Until then, we are the two regular guys.
Thank you for listening to Two Regular Guys. Check out our website at tworegularguys.com. That's the number two, regularguys.com. You can also interact with us over at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash tworegularguys, or send us a tweet, twitter.com slash tworegularguys. And we have a YouTube page. You can find all that from our website, tworegularguys.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to spending some time with you again next week.